him down. We've talked again so much about Sathew, so much about Sipical. It was AXB who had a hat trick oh, yeah. in game four to keep Bread alive. That really has been the story, I think, of Bread throughout this tournament and throughout this entire offseason. It's a different person every game, and that is what the compadres have to contend with as we start game number five. Oh. And that was my mistake. <laughs> We'll get back into the game. Accidentally press auto there, Stacks. Definitely don't want to do that. No. That was my bad. <laughs> James Bott trying to relive the glory days back you when know, he was I'm, actually I'm a professional just player. Yeah, I'm just trying to make it into the rival series. You can't blame me. <laughs> we, don't, we only let the good <laughs> players into the rival series. I hate to tell you. So. Hey, ouch, that yeah. hurts. Well, you know, when you make a clutch uh, key mistake like that, maybe I don't belong <laughs> competing. <laughs> so the, 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 oh name, my gosh. the name needs a little work for me. That's, that's, that's all I'm going to say. I just, I just right. want to see. I just want to see the name just a little bit. Did Did you do yeah, what I no, think you did? No. Okay. Cool. I did not. Okay. Cool. I, he's I, He's definitely spectating over here. That's not on him. So it's a close one. Yep. Close nope. one there. That was uh, not me again. I'm gonna get in trouble. I seriously. Wait, was it not? Was it? Trouble. Wasn't you? It was me. I. <laughs> I was over here defending you. I know. I've, I. 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 You know. People were talking in my ear. I was trying to do things, and yeah. Oh my God. I. I might be in trouble. This is seriously bad. I'm, I'm tweeting sorry. about you. No, please stop. I'm and I'm sorry, you. Murdy and uh, Corey. Please don't kill me on this one. It just says James in all caps. Yes. Go retweet so, that at WavePunk. I'm just gonna let you do this. I can, I got my own computer to do it with. I can't I can't do it for both yeah. of us. <sighs> Folks, we're gonna get this match underway. I promise. We're gonna find <laughs> out who gets in the rival series soon. Gosh, It'll happen. Man, you can't trust me with this it's, stuff. This is hey guys, it's Corelli. I want to go over something pretty remedial for any caster here. You're looking for those guys, kind of up and coming casters who want to make it big. Um, it's a pretty simple thing to actually join a match. So for some of us here on the casting crew, it seems to be a hard thing for them to get into a match. So I want to turn your attention back over to the whiteboard here. I kind of have a mock up exactly how to join a match here in Rocket League. As you can see, this is what you're presented with when you join a private match. You've got your team, your team names here. And I want to turn your attention over here to the left side. You can see here that you have five buttons, team one, auto, team two, spectate, and of course, leave match. And for people like James, uh, he's not going to be playing on one of those two teams. As a caster, you normally just want to hit that spectate button. Again, for someone like James, his best days are behind him. Let's just stick to spectating, why don't we, James? Pressure building the dudes. They've had control games three and four, and it's not oh. looking different. Oh. Ralph's up, sends oh. the shot wide. Reynolds can possibly get the pass back, but he misses. Now Gyro back off the air, down the field. Here comes Roll Diz. He sends it high. The Pirates airborne sends it on target. Oh. No, it goes in. The Peeps, they took games one and two, and they had to go all the way to overtime in game five, but they finally seal the deal, and it's Pirates that does it. Oh, and Ralph almost had the save, but what a shot from Pirates. The accuracy when he needed it most, but it could have been done. They could have been in the rival series right now, but we're in overtime. Patrick, he has been doing that all series long. He has a hat trick this game, but time and time again. Oh, no. oh, there it is. Oh, Ocelot, what are you doing, man? He blocked the defense. Karma up the ladder. This is just wide of the mark, and Shock will throw it over towards normal times, and that's really what this afterthought team needs. They need wow. to get some passes. They don't need this from Jay Wismont, though. What a snipe. Jay Wismont, what a shot from him. In normal times, a, a touch that just kind of got away from him. And the last defender in Hawkser gets... Opportunity set away by Karma. And now Jay Wismont has Nose Dude lurking at midfield. His blast is blocked. Another save right on the goal line. And finally, Karma gets one through. But the way this series has gone, it looked like that one was going to be saved. And it took all three of Splice to put this one away. You see Jay Wismont, big bump there on Shock. It actually lands on... Shot. Hitting the post, and the Haas is just holding on to this defense. Finally, Insel gets it on the double tap, a beautiful play. He had so much ball control, and he gets the lead here for the Haases. The solo play from Insel, double tapping it. What a fast play from him. Ultimate control, a stellar. And to sort things out, demolitions continue here. We've had a one every 30 seconds, but a great infield oh. pass. Aeon shot is good. He hits a demolition there at the end, or maybe got to demolish himself. But what a shot. Holy cow. I thought that was definitely faster than 54 miles per hour, but just fast enough to put it out of the reach of Nap. He saw the far. Oh. 
Here comes Nap through the air to drop it into the corner. <laughs> he finds the target and a three goal lead now for Seoul. Watch the defender in net. He realizes right here, like, oh, I messed up. And Nap just hammers it into the upper 90 and pinches it right in. It could have been nerves. Also, have to remember that endurance starts to play a role as you get into the later stages of the state. And that's something to keep in mind for our last series of the day. Tough. Can you can you take the grind in the lower bracket? You know, sometimes you just want to go to sleep, but other times you want to you want to make the grind happen. Uh, and, and that's one of the toughest parts, is just holding on to your skill and enduring these really long days. But here we go, seven teams in the rival series for the North America region with one spot left. It's a big expectation with the self-proclaimed biggest ego in Rocket League and nose dude on the team. <laughs> you expect a lot of things from this man. Oh, I love it. I, I you know, uh, honestly, I wonder if, if nose dude's looking at, he's getting on Twitter if he saw that. And, yeah, he's firing off a tweet and he's right getting now. Back hey, bring it on, baby. He's, he's coming back after you, Corelli. <laughs> All right, I, I'm excited to get this on the way, guys. Stax Corelli, take it away. Cannot get this any closer to the net. And here come the Blitzers yet again. A rapid start to game one, and they're going to get an own goal here from, it looked like, Breezy. It's an own goal for intellectuals here, and yeah, it looks like it's going to be Breezy. Snake just putting it off the back wall. No, it's oh, C9. Yeah. It's an opportunity. They have numbers the other way. The shot too high from Pirates, but look at all three cars there for Manhattan. They're all in the same place at the same time. Clever touch there looking for Pirates. More possession for Peeps, but it hasn't been enough. They haven't got that quality opportunity just yet. Another stall there by Arsenal just to kill that ball, not let it go downfield. Finally, it's cleared. Arsenal's got to get there. What a redirect from Timon. And Manhattan will go back to the rival series. And they've done it. Manhattan back to back seasons. They're going back to the rival series. Congratulations to them and a tough series against the Peeps. Of course, for the Peeps, they're not out of it. They go down to the loser's bracket. They have a second chance, but Manhattan proven us that they can come back in a season with the same roster and qualify once again. It is all about new beginnings in season three of the rival series. Some RLCS players trying to play their way back in. And of course, this Manhattan team, as they just have in four games, makes that save on the goal line. That's about as stressful as it has been for the Blitzers the entire game. They have really controlled game number one. And if this is a sign of things to come, it could be a very quick series for the Blitzers. And it's the man I've been talking about in the beginning of this series, Stake, with three goals to his name here. Five goals for the team. Blitzers looking strong in game number one. Well, after that, it is hard to imagine that the intellectual game so far in game number five here but with a minute left it's time to crank it up to 11 for intellectuals and they're doing just that the passing play comes out you gotta be kidding me intellectuals up 1-0 how many times would a sub be uh, tempted to shoot this in this situation unselfish play find c9 with a blistering shot right through the middle and it's the intellectuals undefeated with their sub, looking to complete the reverse switch. While we wait for this next lobby to get going, we've actually, there's been an update again to the player of the week list, already from game one, a 6-0 domination, folks. <laughs> oh, Alpha's on no. there, Cassio's on there, we got Magoo and Frizzin, who's down here at the bottom? Man, look oh, at that dapper dude. No. We're living the glory days, days for his second day in a row. Congratulations, James. You think after this many seasons, I would not mess this Seasons. Somebody, somebody. Ooh, somebody.